things are going way too well for us. And indeed, it did bite us in the booty. What happened? So, Betrugus got cut down, right? We used Subaru to lure them out. And all the different people in the ruins too, I don't know what they were doing really in there, but Mimi and TB, breath attack, that calls, that, that falls down. Betrugus gets cut down by Wilhelm. Wilhelm says, don't worry about it, Subaru. Chivalry, that's for some pussy shit. I'm willing to backstab for you. I love my man Wilhelm. It's just like, okay, the Archbishop is dead. We have the gospel. That's a really interesting thing. That Subaru a being that has the witch's miasma on the level of an Archbishop now is also carrying a gossip, like a gospel. And Betrugus says some very interesting thing about how, you know, do you have the gospel? And rumors has it that any potential candidate to join the cult, a gospel will be delivered upon you. The position of pride is also empty. Does this mean right now we have been delivered the gospel in a really weird way? I mean, we're basically taking it from Betrugus, but what if that was the plan all along? I'm not sure. There's just this overlapping thing of Subaru's pride, which has been one of his most important sins that's been holding him back since like episode one. He specifically states how prideful he is. And Patrash being like a prideful land dragon that resonates with Subaru as well. And now the gospel has shown up to us. We can't read it. Hopefully we can try to figure out what's going on and we can figure that out. And another interesting thing is with how Betrugus looked at the gospel to see, hmm, there's no account for you. There's no records of you. As in the gospel is some sort of manual, some sort of handy book, some sort of script that tells you like, yep, Subaru should be showing up uh, as pride. Someone that looks like him should be showing up as pride. I'm not really sure what the gospel entails, but we can't read that shit. So who really knows? But hey, he's not done yet. As we realize the different fingers, so there's 10 fingers. I'm not sure exactly how many is left. Someone do the math for me, but they seem to carry over Betrugus's powers. Even if you kill one, as long as the other fingers exist, potentially other cult members too, but we're not really sure yet, but maybe it's just the fingers. They're gonna have like the authority of Sloth and do the unseen hand shit. Subaru gets clutched by some sort of lesser fire spirit. Wilhelm is just running across water like Jesus Christ and cuts him down. And we're heading to the mansion, but Ram has a blue flower and suddenly it's looking like Genjutsu mode. What happened to the messenger that we sent? Did Ram already kill them? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Ram. Butasu. <laughs> Smell? It's that blue flower that Ram was holding too. <laughs> Actual fucking jump scare. Patrash stuck? The lesser fire spirit again. I'm assuming it's fire because it's red. This thing clutched against the fingers, better to use. And for whatever reason, those things, the cult members really hate spirits. It's like super effective against them. What is this fire spirit? Oh, we're getting clutched by the spirit, man. This thing has saved us twice now. Be sad. We know that Subaru is really good with spirits, but like, this goes within him? I mean, it's been told since like episode one how the affinity to spirits for Subaru is high. So like, yeah, I don't know. This thing is helping us out. Subaru. <gasps> Yuli. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks. That's an insult, but it's a compliment. It's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> Everyone's under Genjutsu. Lesser fire spirit. Also, is this what Roswell was doing before? Yo, remember that shit? Remember when Roswell versus Biko was about to go down as Subaru was about to run out and Roswell's. And then there's a like huge orbs happened. Were those spirits or were those just like magical elements? His were bigger, right? Those are probably not the spirits, right? It just kind of seems similar because, you know, magical things. But I'm going to assume he's a magic user. He's not a spirit chart user. So Yuli is potentially a spirit arch user. My little birds. Everyone's bots. Is his affinity too great to the spirits? So he can read into everyone's mind right now. I don't know what the fuck the Enes thing was with the light and the dark spirit, but it's like on another level. 
Alright, Yuli. Ram. You know, I would have never, ever in my imaginations. Ram versus Wilhelm. What the fuck? It's not a versus, but like to even have a situation like this. Damn. We got our my man here. So Ram was trying to like just kidnap Subaru specifically. I thought a messenger was sent to Ram to let them know that like cargoes full of different factions are, you know, arriving to the mansion, but I don't know what happened with that messenger, man. Giga. I love Ram so much. She just yeeted him. She just yeeted Subaru. What's going on? <laughs> uh, chill, chill. Where's the messenger at? An ingrate. The fuck? No, we're not cheating on Roswell. No, 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 no. We, we, we just killed a white whale and we have different factions here and they're here for allies, Ram. Chill, chill, chill. Oh my god, Ram. Messenger, letter. But. Wow. The messenger is a blank letter. Like, before we were talking about, there's a messenger, and I'm assuming the messenger sent a letter. A blank letter. The fuck? Someone trolling? Ooh, what? There's an actual meaning. Declaration of what? You are pretty clever, though. Come on, man. I know you are. Chill, Ram. Chill, chill. You repeated that line. Yes. <laughs> yes. What, we're not? We are. That's straight up their relationship. She doesn't seem as a man, bro. Straight up a fucking pet, dude. Are we really throwing that pride and ego away just to be a dog so we can be part of their family, huh? Wow. Wow. Well, well, straight up like, come on, bro. I hyped you up last episode. You straight up gonna do this shit in front of me. You're better than this, man. You fine with being a dog. Alright, the villagers. Petra? Where's Petra at? Oh, absolutely they would be. Subaru, speech time! Okay, is he gonna fuck this up or not? Everyone loves Subaru here. He's like a hero. It's scary because a lot of forces mobilize. Subaru, what you gonna tell them? Okay. Which, which is a lie, but it's better than saying a bunch of cult members are going to come here to murder you and your family. Good excuse. Let's like not cause panic. Called out, called out. I think this is... I'm not sure if this is Petra's dad, but I do remember this guy. He, the, the red scarf guy. He was one of the most important villagers before. Jeez. Yeah, he gave us a secret sword. Oh no. Super is not very good at public speaking. Well, he was decent, it's just that they knew it in advance. Can he recover from this? Or is someone else gonna step in? The prejudice going right at Amelia. What if this makes Subaru too mad and he fucks her up too? I mean, I thought that the people of Roswell's domain would be more considerate towards the discrimination. Or, I don't even know how this village was formed, right? This Roswell, did they used to exist here 
before and then Roswell then took over the domain and now they had no real say into it and now there's a fucking half elf living in the mansion that they never really were expecting and that's why there's a prejudice. I thought that there were like people that joined this village of their own volition due to Roswell's I don't know, charisma? I don't know. He's right, bro. Emilia is literally the goal of the first ordeal. According to Betrigus, there's multiple ordeals. And the time that we were thrown out with Emilia's corpse by Bieko, Betrigus is happy that we got the first ordeal done. The entire reason is to get Emilia. True. It's right, but you know it's right. Come on, bro. Exactly, right? The reason why she was so hesitant to go to the dates into the village by being seen with Subaru. So she would always wear that like cute little hoodie, right? To kind of like hide her face. <laughs> yeah, awareness. Wait, wait. The presence of mind? Felix. True, true. Nice, Felix. Damn. That's kinda, that's, that's kinda, ouch. But Felix is right, nice assist. Okay, okay. Man. This is pretty good. Last time he was about to go back to his old ways, Wilhelm says Tatakai. And this time, Felix saves. It's nice to have like allies and friends that's ready to be there to pick you up. Triumphant soundtrack. Hold up. The recovery? Ram basically just forced it at the end. <laughs> the speech was alright. The speech was alright. He recovered with Felix's help. <laughs> and then Ram was like, Hey, hey, Roswell, Domain, do it. Come on. Thank you, Ram. I think she acknowledged you a long time ago. <laughs> Petra. That huh, that huh is a yes. But she didn't say no here. We're talking about Ram, the Sundere man. She would never, never give him the yes. But if she doesn't say no and says huh, that's pretty much a confirmation. Hello, Petra. What's going on, Petra? The lady? Amelia? <laughs> Amelia did? What's <laughs> oh, so? He has a broomstick. He, he has a broomstick say, go away, half elf, you evil devil. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I never knew. I never knew how much they hated her. Because, like, before. Well, then again, she always had that hood up to hide her face, right? But, like, damn. Prejudice is really real in the village. I never knew. Petra's mom? Petra's mom? One in chat for Petra's mom, two in chat for Appa Kid's mom. Be right back. Petra mom, Appa mom. Petra mom, Appa mom. Petra mom. If you are not going to be able to get the same thing, you will be able to get the same thing. You will be able to get the same thing. You will be able to get the same thing. You will be able to get Oh, is that why she was so depressed too? Last episode, remember? We got a little bit of a scene with Emilia, but it was all in the darkness, and Puck was like, are you okay? That's why she's all being gloomy too. I'm like, damn, I'm like, is the paperwork that depressing? But it's like, damn, she's been going out here and getting rejected the entire time, huh? Yeah. Emilia too nice. Yuli. <laughs> And the lolly in the mansion. <laughs> Bieko. Okay. Then I will assist. The fire spirit? So he implanted the fire spirit. 
because he was like a masterful spirit user before too. Right? He showed us that. So the fire spirit he planted just for help the entire time. Yuli literally saved us against that finger and in the Genjusu situation. Yuli too good. <laughs> Spirit Knight. Okay, okay. Is he capping here? Is, is he role playing here? Is he making this shit up? Is a Spirit Knight a real thing? Because, like, last episode, I'm getting to know more about Yuli and he just capping. Yeah, prefers to be called. He's just making this shit up, right? I don't know. Like, is a Spirit Knight an actual title? Like, is he a Spirit user, but he wants to be called a Spirit Knight? Like in SAO, like Klein wants to be called a fucking samurai because he's LARPing. Alright. Spirit Arts user using swords. You protected us. Her. Thank you, Ia. Necked. Gates inside. And we could hear all their thoughts too. Gates. The gate exists for mana to be used through the gate to use magic and shit like that. Connect, con connect all the gates, you can hear them. Our affinity to spirits is so high. He heard it way too much. Yes. This was shown since episode one, right? Amelia, about how the interactions with Puck was rare, right? Amelia always knew that Subaru was like good with spirits. Yeah, a great spirit, bro. Probably one of the strongest fucking spirits that ever exist. <laughs> the only spirit, the first spirit you came in contact with was a great. It really puts into perspective. Now that we really know how strong Puck is, how crazy that first interaction was. Like his first exposure to a spirit was a great spirit as Puck. And he fucking. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Friends? No, I think they're friends. I think that, you know what's more cruel? Letting Subaru live in those timelines, man. Puck showed us mercy multiple times. Nah, those killings? Those are signs of mercy, man. It would be funny and fucked up if Puck actually never thought of Subaru as a friend. Like, everything the bubbly cat we see is just a lie, a facade, and deep inside is like a cat that just like, doesn't give a fuck about Subaru and just hates him. That would be hilarious. できた。その件については、持ち帰って検討した上で前向きに全書するとして、誤解をスムーズに解くために苦しい人間が一人は必要だ。それはこっちの仕事がスバルキンも手伝って、魔女教絡みの危険な仕事いいねで買い取るって契
the sloth people. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> I guess Felix's clothes were all just ripped off, huh? That's why he's wearing potato bags right now for clothing. <laughs> Also, Ia, third time clutch. First time clutch with the fingers. Second time with Ram Genjutsu. Third time, protection against the suicide bomber there. What the fuck was that death, bro? <laughs> it's all out war already? <laughs> the fingers are everywhere. <laughs> That's a lot of hands. This is the next finger, the newest method of use, bro. Holy shit, he's gonna do the whole same shit again. This! Genius, Wilhelm. Genius. This time, if you don't have, you know, rain coming down, just use the dust. The dust will then kind of show the unseen hands like that. <laughs> what an idiot! This dude was too busy emoting. What are you doing right now? Noka. <laughs> Hey. Don't tell me this guy's a fucking suicide bomber too. It's all a plan. Is every one of these dudes gonna act like they fucking lost and start smiling and fucking explode? Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> we'll help get out. This. <laughs> that last death was pretty sick. This. This. No way, Wilhelm dead. No way. No. Wilhelm? Wilhelm? Oh, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's <laughs> just spawned out of every- Are these all fingers, right? It's all fucking fingers, bro. They all just gonna go crazy voice acting. <laughs> oh, dude, they all have such weird- Tendencies to just bite their fingers off because they are fingers, but Betrigus is also doing the same shit. But it's actually so. I bet the voice actors are having such a fun time with this shit. Because, like, not often do you get to have these unhinged lines to have an opportunity to just go crazy with the voice acting. I bet they all had so much fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he said it. He said it. he hasn't said Anata Taida Desne just yet, but he said Noka Furueru. Finally, he fucking fucking said it. <laughs> That's my line. We also haven't heard a death yet, right? We haven't heard a death or like Anata Taida Desne just yet. Let's go, Yuri. Good call. That could have been a death flag. <laughs> Good call. Don't, don't say this shit when we're in a fucking battle, bro. Barrier. Wait, doesn't just you have to show up? If we have a spirit show up, doesn't the fucking cult member just go crazy like that? Yes. Barrier, barrier crystal. So what? Which fiends? Which fiends? Our homies! The witch fiends are back! Okay! Crazy plan! Oh. See, I thought like the barrier stones are supposed to be lined up and they somehow form some sort of wall, like an imaginary mono wall that prevents the witch fiends from attacking. But if you have the crystal, 
you are basically just armored up. They won't attack you. Oh my god. One finger. Is that true? Do we really have one finger left? I haven't been, do I haven't been doing math. I, I have not really been paying attention to how many fingers are left, but apparently there's one left. <laughs> Is this the last finger? He loves this shit. Yeah, this is heroic as fuck. Damn, Emilia looks different. I don't know, something about the soundtrack and her showing up right now? This seems super heroic. You can see this. She's such an important part for the You get in the way. Yeah, you would get in the way, bro. Ah, so her way of fighting against the unseen hands is with like different ice particles above and it kind of shines a little more light onto it. Okay. This guy's entire dialogue is so interesting, man. My witch, my loves God. He's in tears because the half elf known as Amelia has shown up. That honestly looks a lot like Satella. I know that she's super important for the day of the ordeal, but like, bro, look at this fucking ice tree shit, the ice. Something about Amelia right now just feels like different. It's like, it's been a, such a long time since we've seen her, right? And like, having her show up at this last moment like the fucking clutch hero just makes her look so sick. Let's go, Puck. <laughs> Nice. Soundtrack went crazy. <laughs> Why doesn't Puck ever tell us? If he did, like, things would be a lot easier for us to be aware of our situations, to figure out what the fuck is going on. This line should straight up be for Subaru. And I don't think I'm being mean. I don't think I'm being unreasonable. I truly believe it is such a one-sided thing. Subaru's love for Amelia. Amelia doesn't even know what the fuck love even means. Damn. Final finger, right? Final finger, apparently. If we assume what Subaru said is true. Thank you for being defeated. My man died laughing. Okay. I mean, if we assume what Subaru said is true, that's the last finger. Everything's looking pretty good. The sun's rising. Other members are going down. Happy ending? Okay. Dude, I swear to God, these people better be, they better be happy that Amelia saved because they're scared of her. But like, after all this, if they start to turn on Amelia, bro, oh my God. Also, it's sunset, not sunrise. <laughs> what do the people think? <laughs> Amelia crying? <laughs> Where's the tears coming from? Are these tears of joy? Or I think it's after seeing Subaru, right? She's crying because of Subaru? For the heroic act, everything that's happened? I feel like Subaru, there's some part of Subaru. If she's looking at Subaru directly and crying, I I'm not sure. Like, she's so happy that like, damn, Subaru came all this way after everything I've said to him and he's and he tried to help us out. Maybe something like that? I, th I think there's a lot of different things here that's Making those tears of joy. Thank you, Pommy, for the sub, man. Why? 
was good. So it's so good. So wait, 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 wait. Eo <laughs> left. Sorry, Ia. There's like a huge impact. Ia is expelled. Why? Why did the spirit just leave us? <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? Why? Something bad just happened. And he's removing himself from the position? I don't know, but bro has to run. Something bad's gonna happen. Why, 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 bro? What's going on, bro? Better used to different fingers? And now Subaru? Because he's a host? Why is he a host? Because he has the witch's scent. That's the only connection I can make. Because, like, the fingers were all, like, it, it looks like Better Goose is, like, fucking shit was, like, jumping from one finger to another. Io just got expelled because some Better Goose shit was inside an awakening. Because he's a perfect host, thanks to the witch's love? The miasma? He's saying this, bro! That's fucking Petrugius, bro! So, this! Oh my god, this Yell right now, what dude? This shit is genuinely hype. I'm a sin archbishop in the witch cult. You know, my fantasy is one of these ruined runs for Subaru to actually be an archbishop, but him just saying, I am the sin archbishop. I know it's not Subaru right now, it's better against Romani Conti, but like, oh my god, him turning around like this and saying this shit that's so hype. So. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Is this <laughs> Is this basically Orochimaru like taking over a young Sasuke's body and be like, oh, finally, a vessel that is worthy of me. Like, he said Betrugus Romani Conti. So this hasn't Betrugus the entire time, jumping from one finger to another, right? And now he's attained this body so thick with the witch's miasma. He's like, this is everything he's ever fucking wanted. <laughs> it's been decades since I had a body that fits me so well. As in, you've been jumping from one body to another? Like the better use that we know so far with the fucking green penis shaped head? That's been another body he's been jumping from? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> he literally glided with those sword blade. He is a madman and super voice acting, bro. Okay, you just tied him familial love and erotic love, and I saw that. Okay. <laughs> Like, we're so close. This is the fucking finish line. Everything was perfect. It's just that Subaru himself was a valid host. Who would have. Fuck, dude. Fuck. The fingers are gone. The village is saved. It was such the perfect time to have a reunion with the meal. And this is where we fuck up. And if we die here, what happens? Where's the checkpoint? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you gonna ask him to kill you when Stay Alive is playing? Bro, this... This is a heroic run. We did everything right. We did everything correctly. And he has to ask Yuli to kill him?
後でなと君は言った The flag, bro. The fucking flag he was trying to tell him before. 話すことがあったんじゃないのか悪かったエリス This is so heroic of him, bro. This is act. I like. What a hero. What a fucking. He Julius doesn't want to do it. Ferris is crying. I'm fucking crying because of how heroic of a deed this is right now. If we don't do it, then it's over, but like. Dude, these two characters overwhelmed with emotions for Subaru, especially Yuli. Both, like, I've never seen them like this, specifically for Subaru, bro. You can tell how much he's earned their respect in this one. Everything was so fucking perfect, and then the self sacrifice has to happen. <laughs> And that's the fucking run. Everything is fine. Everything was saved. That the final thing did. We tripped at the finish line. He dies. Amelia turns around. This is such a fucking good run. And then that's it? Nefarious sloth, bro. Man, man, man. This whole episode, like, the, the, the fight scenes in the village with Amelia was pretty fucking hype, of course. Seeing the other fingers act as Petrugis or Conti voice acting was peak, but what I would have never guessed, what I would have never guessed was this ending. Subaru running away as he realized that he just got in fact, right, Betrigus is about to take over. In this perfect, it's not a perfect run, but literally at a fucking finish line, this happens and he runs out and he asks Julius and Ferris to kill him, bro. This has got to be the most selfless act. This is truly a selfless act. This is not acting selfless. This is genuinely, genuinely the most selfless thing that he could have ever fucking done. This is a heroic run. Even if it's a fail, all my respect goes to Subaru this time. I truly feel for him, bro. And then the way that Yuli and Ferris are crying, saying they never wanted to do this shit. You think that I want to use this power, the one that I'm supposed to, you know, promise to use it for Krush? You think I'm, you know, using this? Hey, oh my god. And no one's gonna remember this. No one will ever remember this self-sacrifice no one will ever remember any of the shit that he did in this line except us man this power is so fucked up but goddamn what a fucking peak ending what a peak ending but like oh my god at what cost and that's it from me man if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care